Hello guys and welcome to another Hacker Rank video. Today we're going to be solving circular array rotation. I hope you guys are taking the time to actually read the description of the problem. In this problem, we're given an array A and K is the number of turns we need to do to right circular rotate this array. And then we're given another array M which has indices that we're going to use to query A. So for example, if M had the values one and two, we just create a new array that consists of the values from A in indices 1 and 2, and then we return that new array. So the hardest part of this problem is just coming up with a way to actually rotate, um, right rotate the array, right? Um, which is not difficult in itself. There are many ways I've seen people do um, right rotate and left rotate uh, for circular arrays, okay? So I'm going to do to show you guys uh, an easy one on how we can actually rotate that. Um, what we can do is use this uh, sample here and then we can check and see if the outcome is the same. So let's start with one, two, and three. The first thing we want to do is actually reverse the entire um, array. So we get uh, three, two, and one. And then the next thing we want to do is we only want to reverse the indices that are less than k. So in this case, k is equal to two, so we only need to reverse um, in this, the values in, in this um, 1, 0, and 1. So in this case, it's just going to be um, we swap, you know, 2 and 3. So we end up with 2 in the front and 3, and then we bring down 1. And then the next thing we want to actually do is only reverse those that are in index k and n minus 1. So n minus 1 would be the entire size of the array. So in this case, the entire size of the array is 3, right? So k is 2, so we say 2, and n minus 1, so the size is 3, minus 1 is 2. So we have 2 and 2. So we can't swap, two, we can't swap the same index, right? So we have to leave it alone. So we end up with the solution as 2, 3, and 1, which matches the uh, final uh, rotation here. So let's go ahead and actually solve this problem. Um, the first thing I want to do is actually uh, let's create a method. And this is going to go ahead and reverse uh, the array. So we're going to take an A here. And uh, we need a starting position. We call this M. And an end position. We call this N. And what we want to do is loop first. So I'm going to say while m is less than n, we want to create a temp variable to hold the leftmost value. So I'm going to do a temp. I'm going to equal to a m, and then we're going to set a n to a n. So we copy the rightmost value. So pretty much it's just a simple swap. And if you've ever done things like checking to see if a string is a palindrome or not, this is what people typically use. This is one of the most optimized way to reverse um, an array or string or whatnot. Um, then we do um, a and is going to equal to temp. And then uh, what we want to do next is uh, increment n and uh, decrement n. Uh, so we increment m and de decrement n, and we're done with that. So the first thing we want to do is check for k. The thing is that if k is actually bigger than the size of the array, then we have a problem. So what we want to do is take the take k and uh, we're going to mod the size of the array by k. So we're going to say um, k is going to uh, equal k mod a dot length. Then what we can do is create a final size here. So let's do a size variable here and make this a dot length minus one. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and reverse the entire array. We pass in the array in, from index zero to size. The next thing is to only um, reverse the <coughs> indices less than k. So for this, we're going to say reverse, pass in a zero and k minus 1. 
So if k was 2 in this instance, we only will reverse uh, 0 and 1. The next one to do is want to reverse anything that includes k and um, n minus 1. So you're going to pass in uh, a here, uh, k, and size. All right. So once we're done with this, now we need to go through our queries, look at the indices, and then get the values based on the indices in the query, put them in a new array, which is just going to be the values in A, and then we're going to um, return that. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to do int um, uh, so we have the array is going to equal to new int and we know that the amount of queries, the amount of indices in the query should be the same amount of uh, values we need to return. So we're going to do um, queries that length here. And then we need to go ahead and fill our array. So I'm going to say for uh, i, the int i equals to zero, and i is less than uh, r dot length um, plus plus i. Let's say uh, r i is going to equal to a. And then we're going to do uh, queries and pass in i as well. So you just grab the index from queries, grab the value from a, and then um, put that in r. And then now we can just go ahead and actually return r. And this should be it for this problem. Let's go ahead and run the code. And let's submit. Alright guys, this will be it for this problem. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.